the top stories. Quarter Festival 2080 begins on the theme Roots for Freedom. Twelfth edition of Hypo Jadonang Memorial Football Tournament 2018 kicks off. And SICO organizes Observation Day of Cultural Revivalist in Remembrance of Martyrs. Hello and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suraj Kongban Tabam giving you the news. Now the news in detail. The third quarter festival 2018 under the theme Roots for Freedom has kicked off today. Addressing the gathering, ex-president of Icham and Rajendra Seth, the government has been taking off the initiative to construct a guest house at Quata. Constructing of a ring road from Jet Choro to Mori will gear up administrative activities to a last extent, he added. Guest house is not going to be able to do it. Madam D. Me, Ekla Kumatam, the Yamaka, no Tonga, the Adumus, Mamanga, La Pokrabani. I don't see my name, I quickly see a summer for Pupam, even Langaxida, a quick Kudimum Matengpa, Matengpa, the Lerga, a quick in a Saigi, Sigi Sisume, Nan, Unavamatam, the Koykotagi, a form of the Majeramogeko. Like Kumam Lady Bazagadune, a quick in Mokam Lady Bazagadune, I'm going to be Ohaiba never, Kotala Kidre, Adubu, Hariba, a quick committee duna. Borel and the other guy, a quick committee was same given a little or Madu on a machine the prison governor. Hyber Kotana and Saiba, a quick lining lamb with the Sangari Vegas in Aus in the Yamna, Nuaitan and Lady Vakuil Lam Duva with the Luxon the Vaya, the Ivisiki, Wakal on a machine the Lerka and Maduki Porto, Kotada, I mean Marini, Mangu Yogi, or have the Kotana Yoka of the Gi, a quick song of Nin, a rather the Porto Kangle and a quaint on a machine the Yorga Madu Porto Yokrabani. A school showed the Madu Maki Quinning with Tungani Avigi, Tazabale. On the other hand, Speaking at the inaugural function of the festival, SP Ibomcha expressed his views regarding the festival. Now let's have a short live telecast of Kota Village Festival. <laughs> The 12th edition of Hypo Jadonang Memorial Football Tournament 2018 has kicked off at Kumalampak Men's Stadium in Fall today. 
the 12th edition of Haipo Jadonang Memorial Football Tournament 2018, organized by the Zhenlianrong Football Association, kicked off today at Komalampak Main Stadium in Fal with the opening match between Ragailong and Namdolong Youth Club. Speaking as chief guest at the event, MLA and Chairman of Pollution Control Board, Government of Manipur, L. Radakiso, said Zadonang was a man to love his people and nation dearly. He was a man who had no feelings of separation for any community and trained his followers to develop the spirit of nationalism, he added. He also urged the people of Manipur to follow the spirit of unity and integrity as shown by Haipo Jadonang. <laughs> Nationalism, the Marai Park, the Shibu, the Matati, the Shibu, the Adi Wakalo, the Day, the Queen of Shifawa, the Queen Kaubungam Day, Luigana, Tunga, Chahi Kaya, the Queen Century Kaya, Mahaku Kau, the Mahaibase, the Queen Jati, the Sikh, the Masigi, the Queen Kunimaki, the Queen Dai Tani, the Nasiki Shimba Tanja, the Luzerega, the Hakna, the Toksere. Chairman of the Organizing Committee and CEO of Tamenglong Autonomous District Council, Lipu Gangmai, also asserted that the main objective of organizing the tournament is to enhance the spirit of brotherhood and unity, particularly among Jalenrong communities living in Assam, Manipur and Nagaland, and to strengthen the bond of love among various tribes and sub-tribes in the state. We are trying to focus that uh, the communal harmony of every tribes and sub-tribes of uh, the Nagas and the Manipur in particular to show that uh, we are also part of the Manipur and we are also part of the Zeleong fraternity. We are here in Kumalampak Main Stadium in Fal where the 12th edition of Jadunang Memorial uh, Football Tournament 2018 is about to start and as many as more than 34 players or teams from different uh, villages, different districts of Jailing Wong will be participating in this auspicious tournament. Blessing Yang Mai, reporter Times of Manipur with a camera person. Loya, reporting from Kumalapak Main Stadium in Fal. Southeast Asia Cultural Organization, SICO, organized Observation Day of Cultural Revivalist in remembrance of all the departed souls who contributed in preservation of indigenous Maite culture and religion, which were once overshadowed by kings and Brahmsamaj. The observance was held at Lamyanba Sanglen Palace compound today. Speaking as a chief guest at the observance, CAF and PD Minister Karam Sam said, According to the history, many who follow Mete faith left the state as the king strictly banned the people from practicing and following the indigenous Mete religion and its associated rituals. Some of them stayed grounded and others were enslaved at another place. He further mentioned the need for today's generation. Despite stringent laws and punishments, they felt it is not overrated to praise them. <laughs> ไซตรมนปุนรกะเดคุยไนตอกงมเดนุชินบะพาวเดสตียามะจุมมะบัวคุมเนอะไดตาติธรรมสิงเซไอคุยนปามจริบธรรมสิกะลาอันนะบะพ
ekoi puna mana ai ilo ai ilo mai ekwa se i pani ai mudi pani mani hai na kabona jadi mudi mara masi na masi ai aham jadi mudi ai koi puna mana ai ilo ai ilo mai ai asi kita muda koi puna mana sao kok jadi mudi ai mudi miang kita muda koi puna mana masi kita muda tung kita muda ai ilo ai ilo mai ekwa tung kita muda sao kok jadi mudi sama aja sih dah ngasih kimiro nama nama nimba mana mana pembangga suan tin suan cat pada kali suka kayak beli ti aman amat aman amat amat itu kayak kaling kata nabo amat ini aduh mau kaya no pun masih dia yang masuk air kaya di kahuri air kana no air la suan tin suan kari no air di dalam mana kari no air di jek selain mana kari no air di mana kari no hari itu dia ikhlas betam ini Floral tributes were paid to the photos of the martyred souls. Minister of CAF and PD Karam Sham, President of SICO Head Office Kolomsa Atsobi Kuman, and ex MLA of Pasoy Assembly Constituency Sapam Keba were attended the observance as chief guest, president, and special guest, respectively. Advisor of SICO Head Office Akam Langol, President of Editors Guild Kogendra Komdram. Social activist Maitram Lokendro and advisor to SICO head office Longzam Sanatoy were the guests of honor at the observance. Unknown persons exploded an IED in front of the office building of LYS Sales Private Limited, a company which deals with iron and cement products. The explosion occurred at Kwaketil Makhatok Chomlekai around 4.40 this morning. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the incident. Unknown persons exploded an IED in front of the office building of LYS Sales Private Limited, a company which deals with iron and cement products. The explosion occurred early morning around 4.40 today. The glass doors and other items belonging to the office were damaged in the explosion. According to the information culled from the blast site, the owner of the office, Lystrom Yaima, had noticed a black polythene bag at the entrance of his office before the explosion took place. He looked at the bag closely out of curiosity, suspecting that the unattended object could be anything. He moved far away from it. The bomb exploded shortly about two minutes later. Fortunately, no one was injured in the explosion. A team of Sengjamai police station raised the blast site to take stock of the situation there. High-ranking officials of Infal West District Police have initiated an investigation into the incident. The identity and motive of those who planted the bomb is yet to be established. Yet another explosion took place at Kangpokpi a while before the Kwaketil blast today. Unknown persons triggered a powerful IED in front of MS Manoj store at Upper Kailhang, Kangpokpi Ward No. 5 under the jurisdiction of Kangpokpi Police Station around 4 this morning. Portion of the store was damaged in the powerful explosion. However, no one was hurt. Police have initiated an investigation to establish the identity of those responsible. Mysterious incidents of slaughtering domestic animals under unnatural circumstances have instilled fear psychosis among the people of Churachanpur. Domestic animals are found slaughtered at various households in the area for the past one week. One such incident occurred at Chengkonpang locality in Churachanpur district. This slaughter is suspected to have been done without using knife, blade or any other weapon. According to sources, many chickens and ducks were found slaughtered, but the meats were left uneaten in front of the livestock owner's houses. Besides, unripe bananas were found destroyed, while the ripe ones were left out at the garden of the one of these households. The unnatural killing of livestock started on October 27 and it's still continuing. The last incident occurred on November 1st at one of the households in the district. The strange incident has scared the villagers who have now started taking turns for night vigils since a couple of days. The locals of the area said they do not believe that the unnatural killing and slaughtering were done by some animals, humans or any other living being but probably by some supernatural elements. After their impeachment from the NSCNK self-styled chairman of the outfit, 
Kango Konyak and spokesperson Isaac Sumi left their base camp at Tagafo Naglin. They reached an undisclosed place in Naglin where they have been accorded a warm welcome. Kago Konyak took over as self styled chairman of the outfit after the death of Kaplang in 2017. Well, it's time now for a short break. Welcome back after the break. A documentary film titled Chara Iyong, based on the traditional handloom products of Manipur, was premiered at the City Convention Centre in Fall today. The documentary film was produced by Directorate of Handloom and Textiles and scripted by Mutua Bahadur. This is one of the great contributions of the renowned director Ning Thaucha Lancha in the field of motion picture with an aim to promote the culture and tradition of Manipur. A discussion on the film was also held in connection with the premiere show. All preparations are complete for the 12th Mega Marathon Manipur to be organized by the United People's Front UPF under the aegis of Manipur Athletic Association. In connection with the marathon, Chairman of the Subcommittee Roman and Vice Chairman of the Organizing Committee and Rupachandra distributed uniforms for the members of the Media Subcommittee of the Marathon at the Office of Manipur Athletic Association today. <laughs> Karnataka voting is underway in a crucial set of by-elections that will test the Congress, JDS coalition in the state, voting for three Lok Sabha and two assembly seats held from 7 this morning. Congress and JDS have fielded joint candidates in all the seats. The JDS will be contesting the Mandya and Sivamugga Lok Sabha seats and the Ramanagara Assembly constituencies, while the Congress has put up candidates in the Lok Sabha seat in Ballery and, assemb and Assembly seat in Jamkhandi. The results for the five seats will be declared on November 6th. Sri Lankan SEC Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh has won time is running out to avert a bloodbath while voicing hope that Parliament will resolve a damaging constitutional crisis in the coming days. Vikram Singh, who has been holed up at the Prime Minister's official residence for more than a week as thousands of supporters gathered outside, said that desperate people could cause chaos on the Indian Ocean Island. The 69 years old was sacked out of the blue on October 26 by President Maitripala Sirisena with domineering former President Mahinda Rajapakse name in his place. Now let's have a look at the headlines of some of the local news dailies. The Sangai Express, excess water to be used for power generation. Manipur Chief Minister calls for review of APSPA. Ordinance in lieu of pending bill, JCILPS. The People's Chronicle, no state officials as Ministry of External Affairs led team surveys border. After Manipur University fraud, Bank of Baroda fleeced again. Bireen only chief minister to speak of Hill Valley enmity, MLA Lokeshwar. Prop panel unseals Manipur University documents. Bid to deconstruct history of Manipur worries chief minister. 
Infall Free Press India Myanmar officials inspect border. Inspection conducted without state administrative officials. JCILPS demands new ordinance in lieu of Manipur People's Bill till it is enforced. Tamanglong District selected under Hill Area Development Fund, Chief Minister. The Morning Bell can totally remove UPSPA due to security reasons, Chief Minister Birin. JCILPS demands introduction of ordinance in lieu of Manipur People's Bill 2018. EPMM working to end preventable maternal deaths. Tamenglong District selected under Hill Area Development Fund, Chief Minister. Nagaland to sack around 3,000 untrained teachers. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once again. Qualta Festival 2018 begins on the theme Roots for Freedom. Twelfth edition of Haipo Jadonang Memorial Football Tournament 2018 kicks off. And SICO organizes Observation Day of Cultural Revivalist in Remembrance of Martyrs. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much for being with us.